Throttling is a process by which BizTalk Server ensures optimum performance and use of system resources. Being a middleware product sitting right in the middle of various connecting systems, it's important BizTalk got this capability. Floodgate scenarios were very common in a BizTalk Server environment. A floodgate scenario is one where an unusual load comes into the system within a short period of time. Some of the common examples may include like if you are working on a London Stock Exchange or a, or a, some kind of financial services, it's very common you get a floodgate scenario at the end of the day or, or, or beginning of the day when the market opens. And there are various scenarios depending on the industry, you will experience floodgate scenario uh, into, into Bistock Server. Bistock Server manages the floodgate scenario by a mechanism called host throttling. It basically monitors various points in your system like memory, CPU usage, database connections, thread counts, etc. And if it detects a pattern, unusual pattern, then it tries to control those parameters to bring a system to a, to a manageable level. We just highlighted some of the major problems uh, uh, surrounding around the uh, throttling area. The first point is throttling is difficult to understand. Even for experienced Bistock people, uh, it's it's very difficult to understand. It's it's all numbers most of the time. So the, the raw performance counter data you get from Bistock uh, just gives you numbers. For example, uh, number two is uh, is rate throttling. Uh, number four is process memory throttling. Number five is system memory throttling. And also, uh, it's not just those numbers. Once you see that number, then you need to dig dive it, dig deep into uh, the specific area. For example, if it's process memory, then you need to go and understand what's the sys available system memory and how much your process is using, all those kind of things. So it's even for an experienced BizTech person, it becomes a really difficult uh, task to understand and optimize the system for throttling. Another important point is BizTalk Server only provides raw performance counter data when it comes to throttling. There are no visual tools available out of the box uh, that can uh, give a easy clue to the end users to understand whether the system is throttled or not. The other problem we have noticed is as traditional performance monitoring tools like Perfmon or LoadGen, uh, it's not designed to monitor throttling. Uh, it's it's not just simply monitoring a bunch of resources. Uh, you need to work out a relationship between various parameters, and and it becomes a really tedious task. Unless otherwise you are a super expert, it it is near impossible to uh, understand the throttling. Another big issue we have seen is companies don't monitor the thr throttling conditions in real time. What we mean by that is, uh, before going into production, uh, companies uh, do a lot of performance testing and during that they monitor the uh, throttling and they, they tune the system. But once the system goes into production, uh, nobody really uh, actu monitors in real time. So, so the data what you uh, got from your performance testing may not be uh, in sync with what you're seeing in, in production. So you're just hoping you're your system is working in an optimal way, but in reality, it may not be working that way. So, Bistock 360 Throttling Analyzer is designed to address all these issues. Our end goal is to give us a, give a visual clue of what's going on in your environment in a near real-time basis. So, we'll see a demo uh, after this presentation, uh, explaining, uh, going a bit more in detail, uh, how, how Bistock 360 Throttling Analyzer can help. To understand uh, BizTalk throttling uh, in detail, uh, uh, let's uh, take a sample scenario and try to uh, simulate a, a floodgate uh, within the application. So we got a s application deployed called Simple Messaging. So it got a set of receive ports and send ports and they got some matching filters for content-based uh, routing. And all the artifacts uh, are running within a single uh, host, uh, bis the default BizTalk server application host. Uh, and let's try to simulate a load condition uh, within this application. We are going to use uh, Microsoft Load Gen uh, for simulating the load condition. If, if you're not aware what uh, Load Gen is, it's, it's a free download from Microsoft which will help you to uh, uh, sim simulate various load conditions for your performance testing. So this is a simple uh, load gen uh, file, uh, which basically tells you uh, 
uh, it's 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 used for a uh, file based uh, transport and this is the the source location where the sample file is located and this is the destination location where these files need to be placed and also the stop mode is we had we have put the script in place so that uh, it, it overkills the system for five minutes so 300 seconds and the various parameters like uh, how how many messages to put in a lot and number of threads and uh, what's the sleep interval between the lot etc so basically this script will over overdrive your system the our simple application now let's go and run our script file with the load gen console application it's very simple step you navigate to uh, the place where you install load gen and 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 pass the the script file as a parameter to the console application and let's let's start it okay so so it's it's firing messages based on the on the the script we have defined and and what it's going to do is we should see some files coming up you can see there's already a thousand items flooded into the to the system and if i if i go and see the task manager this is a it's a simple desktop so it's not having enough resources and you can see it's already uh, struggling to do anything in the system so it's just a typical uh, floodgate scenario so we are overdriving the system if i go to performance i can see there's a good cpu usage but the, the memory is almost at its knees uh, there's no not enough free memory and some paging going on let's run it for a few minutes uh, and then and then we can see like uh, what's what's happening as expected the script completed in five minutes and it just gives you the final statistics of what's been done and you can see it fired around 5500 messages uh, within five minutes we started off at 712 and completed at 717 and it fired at the rate of roughly around 18 messages per second and we used five threads uh, to drop off these number of messages into the system now let's take a look at the output folder where we are expecting these messages after flowing through the, the uh, through the, the the bistock environment and you can see just from just by the timestamp the last message received was around uh, 746 so that's nearly half an hour after the final message has been dropped on the receiving side so obviously like if you got like a proper environment we would have expected these 5000 messages which we received in 5 minutes to be processed within 5 minutes or maximum 7 or 8 minutes but in this particular scenario you can see it nearly took more than half an hour to process the exact number of messages so that's because bistock server applied throttling mechanisms and it didn't process the messages uh, as quickly as possible that's good in a way because at least your environment was stable after this half an hour uh, uh, and it didn't crash your server so that's important for a very middleware product like bistock let's recap quickly what we have seen in this short video so we have seen what bistock host throttling is and how bistock handles a throttling condition uh, by constantly monitoring various parameters like uh, uh, your process memory system memory database connections etc and and maintains the stability of your system and we also seen uh, what are the challenges around uh, uh, around monitoring throttling why you need a bistock expert to understand what's going on uh, the main uh, reason for us producing this video is to showcase what we have done with this 360 throttling analyzer that helps to resolve all the challenges we have uh, mentioned in course of this video. In the next video, we will see the uh, Bistock 360 throttling analyzer in full action.